welcome back to a new vlog. This time I'm in a slightly different setting to usual. I am actually in Marbella. I am getting some spring sunshine. Honestly, what is it about going away in winter or spring? All of your problems just dissolve as soon as you set foot off the plane and into the sunshine. It's just stunning. Although what is not stunning is my pigmentation after five minutes of being sat outside. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you along for our trip. We are staying at... I'm about to butcher the name of this hotel. We are staying at El Fuerte Marbella, which is just the most beautiful hotel. I've stayed in it in a long time. It is a mixture of like Soho house and then just a really gorgeous glam hotel. Like there is this green marble all over the gaff. It is stunning. It's basically everything that I kind of wish Soho House was, but it's gone off in like a different direction. I believe this hotel's been newly refurbed. I don't think it looked like this before. It's honestly just gorgeous, the food. So we arrived yesterday. I, we'd been up since early o'clock and I was not, I actually, I did record a room tour, which I will insert now. So I thought I'd give you a quick room tour whilst the room is still tidy today. The bed is looking gorgeous. So I've banned Ryan from jumping on it for five seconds so I can show you. So you come in and you're in the bathroom area and we have the ginormous mirrors, the sink area. This hotel is covered in marble. It is insane. They've really gone all out with the budget on this one. It's just gorgeous. It's giving Soho house vibes. We love two lovely big mirrors. Lighting is fantastic. This is the shower. Oh, it's just unreal. Like this is, I, I have renovated a bathroom myself. This is insane. I'm having tile quote PTSD just looking at this. Anyway, then we have the bedroom area. This is so nice. I haven't unpacked my things yet, but we have these shelves, which are gonna be so nice for getting all my shoes and my bags out onto. And then through here, like look, more marble, more green marble, insane. And then, we have this cute little desk set up. This chair is so cute. Unreal. I The only things I've already unpacked are as follows. Because I'm going to be asking them if they have any soy milk shortly. And I'm going to be having another matcha because your girl is tired. And then over here we just have a nice little living space. Out here we've got a little terrace area. I have a fiancé on the balcony. Hello. We rarely see you anymore in the vlogs. Rarely see me? Yeah. Undercover. Undercover. <laughs> He's a spy now. <laughs> Alright, James Bond. <laughs> and then look at this view. It's stunning. Stunning. The hotel is so nice. Like the lobby is unreal and it smells, everything smells amazing. Staff are super nice. I'm obsessed with these little stripy umbrella tops. Can't wait to get down there. I want to be in the sun, so. Going Let's go. I might. I might. I might dip. Do you? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> also, elite level snacks over here. This is one of my favorite brands when we come and stay in Spain. Their crisps are very good. But look, we've got little snacky snacks. Strawberry and yogurt chocolates. Wow, I bet they're insane. Almond praline chocolates. Oh my god. I feel like we get these in the UK. These are good. I want to eat everything. What are you making? A little espresso. Oh, cute. Okay, I definitely need to make myself a matcha. And as you can see in that room tour, it's a bit choppy because I couldn't speak. I was so tired that I just was not really with it. But I have a job that I'm shooting whilst I am out here. So I just cracked up with that yesterday and I was like, you know what? I just need like some good food, a good night's sleep, and then we can we can join together in the morning and have some fun together. So that is what we are going to do today. This is a very chill trip for us so i don't feel like we're going to be doing massive amounts of exploring like i would normally pre-warning your girl just wants to have fun in the sun nothing is better than a nice layer of the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin this is my current favorite foundation i loved this when it first launched and then i got out of the habit of using it and i honestly can't tell you why because it's basically what I feel like YSL to Chacla used to look like on my skin and I just love it. And then we're going in with the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer because I am spotty right now. All of those trips to Paris are visible. Worth it though, worth it. But anyway, I'm just getting some makeup on my face and then I think we're gonna go 
and have some lunch. I'm very excited to try whatever lunch is looking like here because everything we've had so far has been amazing. We had some, what did we have yesterday? We had hummus, a trio of hummuses with vegetables and these delicious pita breads by the pool. And what else do we have? Oh, chips, obviously. I've eaten so many chips since we landed. Oh, and then I had a matcha. They actually do a good matcha here. I did bring my own and I did, in fact, make my own this morning because I like it a certain way. I like my matcha quite creamy and not watery and I find that that's not always the case when you order and someone else makes it. So I have brought my own, my own things to make my own matcha. Um, She's a psycho, but we love it. So I had a matcha, Brian had a little coffee, and we just cracked on with our work. And yeah, it's really nice. And then we went for dinner. The dinner restaurant here is stunning. We ate at Les Marche, I think that's what it's called. Probably butchering that as well. They have quite a few restaurants here, so I'm still getting to grips with each of the restaurants and like the vibe of each of them. Because I think they have some that are, I think they have a beach one as well. So you, you girl needs to do some exploring. But anyway, the food, at dinner last night was unreal. I was very, very, very not dairy free at dinner last night. I had what was basically a brie truffle ravioli carbonara thing. It was sensational. And then there was also this salad, which if we eat there again tonight, I might get that again. It was like a, an orange and fennel salad. I can't remember the full name of it, but it was really really good it was actually a really nice con wow i can't get this off help me there we go it was actually a really nice contrast to the very rich carbonara and then i had my first ever crepe suzette for pudding dessert whatever you want to call it it was so good i'll give you a little tour of the hotel when we go down for lunch because it's just really gorgeous full disclaimer they haven't asked me to vlog but they have asked me to do some things on instagram whilst i am here and they have invited us to stay here so just so you know but i am very grateful to be here because i've been needing some sunshine and i've also never ever ever been to marbella it's really beautiful here the view from our hotel room stunning shall i show you shall i see if i can show you you'll also get a sneaky glimpse of ryan on his laptop he's so cute just look at him Whee! there he is <laughs> but look at that view how beautiful is that <laughs> he has no idea he's gonna die when he sees that he's made it into the vlog but anyway it's a beautiful hotel i'm very much enjoying my time here so far also i didn't realize it's not an adults only hotel but i'm kind of not mad about that because when we have kids i would love to come back here one of my fears is actually that we're so close to having kids and all of my favorite hotels that i've stayed in so far for the most part have been adults only and recently it dawned on me that i'm gonna have to find loads of new favorite hotels which not a problem obviously like my favorite hotel in ibiza adults only what am i gonna do mom and dad are gonna have to be going on some solo trips together if we want to go back you're gonna have to ditch the kids oh also a lot of you have been asking about my eyeshadow recently i actually have not really changed my eyeshadow at all for i think about a year now it is always the giorgio armani eye tint in the shade what shade is this i think it's shade 22 but there is nothing on this that says the shade i will do research but i am pretty sure it's shade like m22 or something like that it's a beautiful neutral brown tone like not too cool not too warm just works really nicely on my skin tone and it's so creamy and easy to blend out as well like i just blend it out with this fluffy brush i think this is from real techniques i've had this for literally years and it just blends out so nicely and it sets and it stays and it's just lovely then i take my brush into a mid brown let's ignore the weird banging i don't know what is happening right now and i run this along my lash line it doesn't it doesn't have to be super neat sometimes i kind of run it up over the outer corner as well and like wing it out again doesn't have to be neat because what you can do is take your fluffy brush and just smudge and then I go in again and I try and concentrate as much to the lash line as I can every time I go in with some more eyeshadow. So we get a nice like gradient. So I don't know if you can see, it just gives a more smoky 
look and gives us like a nice bit of dimension and blend and then what i like to do is take i have a million palettes i know and this is very silly i should just like make my own mac one or something i take coco from this very old huda beauty palette i'm so sorry most of the makeup that i love and that is a staple in my makeup bag just doesn't exist anymore but i like to use this on the outer part of my eye then i pinch my big fluffy brush and we just smoke that out i actually don't like to use a million different brushes where possible so what i like to do is take some brushes and just like pinch them into a different shape then i'm going to take the black from this palette and i take it onto a little tiny angle brush and i'm just going to do a little bit of like a soft liner effect with it using this angle brush i don't want to go too glam because it's literally daytime but i like to have defined eyes and i shot a lot of photos with no eye makeup on yesterday so it's, it will be a nice balance okay there we have it for mascara i'm gonna do charlotte tilbury push up lashes this is a fresh one so hopefully my lashes are going to be outrageous this mascara is so nice it's definitely more of a wiggler some mascaras you can just brush on and the brush just does its thing you can just layer and you don't really have to worry too much about technique this one you definitely need more of a wiggle if you want them to be like really nice and fanned out as it dries out you don't need to worry so much but definitely when it's fresh it needs a little wiggle a little bit of the charlotte tilbury beauty light wand in pink gasm on my lips i've gone for armani shade 102 in the lip powers i really like this one with like a dark brown lip liner and then if i'm going for more of a pinky one i go for the armani lip power matte in 114 love that also 111 is lovely as well a bit more nude but i quite like 114 if i'm feeling a bit more like summery they're just the best lipsticks like if you're gonna buy an expensive lipstick i would say either charlotte tilbury their lipsticks are all amazing or the armani lip powers are also gorgeous and they're all really comfortable to wear i think those are my like top to okay hi i'm back the banging has stopped and i have sorted my hair a little bit because it's looking a bit flat might have needed a bit longer in the roller but it's fine so before we go out and have some fun i actually thought i would show you a few of the things that i bought for this trip and some of the things that i packed with me that are new and you haven't seen before i know a lot of you also have holidays coming up so i thought it might be useful and some of you like one of the sets that i shared i actually put it on instagram lots of you went wild for oh my god this chair is tipping back it's just like slightly wobbly but every time it goes back i think i'm that's it it's game over for me so i'm very excited to show you that by the way the show and shorts combo that I am wearing at the moment I've had for years so sadly it's not available anymore it was from Zara if you wanted to get it on vintage firstly I wanted to show you the skirt that I got this is so stunning it's actually like very sheer it's like a beachy sheer skirt but you could definitely style this up for evenings i also think it's just lovely with a plain black bikini and you will definitely see me wearing it that way on this trip hopefully if i get the chance to wear it i've packed quite a few outfits so <laughs> let's just hope i get the chance to wear everything this is from rat and boa it's gorgeous it's just a very long like maxi length skirt you can wear it either high or low waisted depending on what size you go for so i think it's meant to sit more like kind of mid-rise to low but i actually sized down so that it would sit slightly higher on my waist and therefore it actually is like a decent length on me and I'm not like tripping over the length of it but if you are taller I would say to size up yeah size up so that the waist is wider and then you can wear it lower and then it will be longer and if you're in the middle just get your regular size but yeah I love it it's gorgeous I think just with a plain black bikini also in costume it's stunning now speaking of bikinis i have a lot to show you i'm actually wearing one of my favorite bikinis right now the girls are really girling right now i'm due on i have not had a, <laughs> i have not had a boob job and not told anyone this lilac set is so nice i love it oh my god all the bikinis are just like falling off my lap so all my bikinis on this trip are from bluebella they kindly gifted them to me because i am working with them not on this video but for something on instagram and their bikinis have just launched and they are so so gorgeous so they have different textures so some of them are like a crinkly like this is like a crinkly zigzaggy texture and then some of them have this you're not gonna be able to see this because it's black but like a like a liney 
like a horizontal line texture and then there are other sets again sorry this is black but they have a vertical line texture on them so they're all really gorgeous the structure of them is really good so i do feel well supported and the size range is very good as well none of that small medium large and that's where it ends so i have this lilac style i also have some other triangle bikinis but they're like slightly different so they've got a thicker neckline and they also have this really beautiful gold detailing which is on the sides and in the middle and then you also have some gold detailing on the tie as well these have really cute little gold shells on the straps and then also in the middle as well as well which i really like and then it also has them on the ties at the back which i think is so cute so i love that they have so many different variations of a triangle bikini with lots of different gold detailing in addition to that style in black i also have it in orange as well as orange is gorgeous i think it would be really flattering on a lot of different skin tones so stunning again with the gold detailing i also have it in red as you can tell i just love a triangle style bikini however this one is different to this it has the thicker straps and then just has a little gold shell in between the boobs oh and by the way the bums on some of the tie waist bottoms are so good they've got this full like ruching on the back so it just really gives your bum like a little like and i don't know about you but i love a little bit of ruching on the tush then we also have this swim top swim top bikini top so this one has a thicker band that goes under the bust and i feel like it has a little bit more support with the thicker straps both over the shoulder and round the back it really gives a lot of lift which i like a lot and it has adjustable straps on the back which again you guys know how i feel about adjustable straps the bottoms it comes with are really nice and like kind of high waisted but still with a more brazilian style cut which i really like i just think it's the most flattering cut that you can have on your bum where it's not like full brief but it's not thong it just sits so perfectly in the middle and i love how high on the leg all of the bottom styles sit it just really elongates your leg and it's very very flattering and then finally we have a swimsuit this is like a full it is not really going to do much when i'm holding it up but this is a full like cut out swimsuit it's really really beautiful again really nice and high on the leg so very very flattering especially if you're a short gal like me and you don't have a lot of leg as it is we need all we can get so every <laughs> every extra millimeter of leg that we can show is a plus this is really beautiful and it's actually like very supportive i like to do it up quite tight get it on and then just like hoist my boobs up and it makes them look really good those are the bikinis i got i love them this lilac one i am just very very obsessed with i mean i love it in all the colors like i have the black version of this and it's so flattering did i show you the black yes i did there's honestly so many bikinis at my feet i can't keep track but the lilac i just think is so so fun i think this summer when i'm in ibiza i would love to do like this lilac one with like a pink skirt as well i think that would be really cute and fun but anyway i have a few more bits to show you one of them, I mean, I may have gone mad, but I got myself a little hat. I mean, this has got so crumpled. I really need to give this some TLC. Doesn't travel the best. I tried, but I got this hat. <laughs> I actually love this. I'm obsessed with it. You know me, I, I love a hat when it's hot. Like I need to protect my parting. I have quite a straight on parting and I find that if I'm not careful, I do get burnt. And your parting is apparently an area where a lot of people overlook SPFing and you can still burn and get like skin damage and stuff like that. So I need to protect the parting. I just got it off Amazon, but I love it and I will 100% be investing in something that maybe travels a little bit better and the material is maybe a better quality, but it will do for now. It will do for the vibes. I mean, I've fully just like ruined my freshly rolled hair, haven't I? That's good. That was worth it. Anyway, I also picked up some trousers. These are so fun. I think these are really cute with the lilac bikini top. I really wanted a pair of like pajama style stripy trousers that everywhere on my Instagram feed at the moment and I'm just obsessed. And I think it's something that I would wear both in the UK and on holiday. I could definitely just wear this with like a cute gray jumper or a white tank top in the UK and like a pair of trainers. But over here I could definitely wear it with bikinis. I just get so much wear out of fun trousers. So this to me was a no-brainer. It's got a nice elasticated waist which is great for all the food eating I'm going to be doing whilst I'm here. And this pair has pockets as well which i love they do come quite long though so i did have to take them up but they did take up really easily so love that and then this is the set that you all went wild for so we have a blue and white pinstriped shirt with matching 
trousers i'm really excited to wear this this again will look really cute with the lilac set but also the black but also the red and this is why i say that blue counts as a neutral to me because it just goes with so many different other colors this i really wanted to wear with my blue denim Miu Miu hat and then like a cute bikini underneath and i just thought it would be so cool i got this in a size eight top and bottoms and then i got these trousers in a size eight also and they're both from plt i forgot to say but yeah i just love this one it's just a really nice classic that i know i'll have in my wardrobe for years and years like case in point this set like i'm wearing this blue again pinstripe shirt with the matching shorts i really wanted like a trouser version of this couldn't find any trousers to match this shirt specifically because it's more blue than white but i've had this in my wardrobe for i think about four years now and i crack it out every summer over and over so i felt very confident that i would get the wear out of this shirt and trousers i'm really excited to wear this we have a day coming up where it's going to be like cooler and a bit more overcast so i'm going to save this for that and finally i just wanted to share these shoes with you in case you haven't seen them in my other vlog because i'm obsessed with them and i will be wearing them on this trip i actually just need to paint my toenails and then it's over for all of the other shoes that i brought with me i feel like when i wear these i really have to have my toenails painted because all eyes are on the shoes how gorgeous are these i can't wait to wear these these are going to be so nice with like my evening outfits i'm so excited for spring and summer so that i can get wearing these i'm just obsessed with them so those are all the new things i brought with me on this trip i also have some things that i wore in bali which you I'll, i will link that haul if you want to see it but you'll also see them in this video i'll show you all of my outfits as we go but i just wanted to show you the new things and tell you like where they're all from and obviously everything will always be linked in the info box for you guys but yeah i love a holiday haul i could not resist i did this in the south of france last year and i just enjoy doing it this way so much so yeah that is everything i brought with me let's go get outside and have some fun you guys i didn't get to show you in my room talks hadn't unpacked yet but i have now unpacked and got everything on the shelves in here which is so nice i think it's such a nice touch and i mean you could use it as you want you can just throw like folded up clothes on it if you wanted to but for me with all of the bags and shoes i was like oh yes this is so fun so i've got more like flats along the bottom i just threw these in at the last second but i've actually worn them so much since we've been here ryan keeps asking me why i'm wearing my slippers but they're actually so cute and comfy so i've got those ysl tribute sandals my tam ysl tribute sandals the chanel perspex sandals my fendi sliders i brought these jimmy choo heels with me just for like the evenings if i want a heel if i'm wearing a longer dress because i brought my realization par dress and it is quite long so these would be really nice to wear with that my cult gaia bag the anthropology bag as you will have seen and then i have my mimi hat and my amazon little gal girl hat Yeehaw. yeah i love it this is what i wanted my walk-in wardrobe at home to be like but sadly budget not budgeting but this would be the dream in the stream upstairs anyway i'm ready for the pool excuse the weird filming shot but this is the only spot i can find with like decent lighting where i'm not like weirdly side lit so this is the orange bikini from bluebella on i forgot to say i got all of these in a size extra small i feel like they're very true to size if not like a little bit generous so you can definitely just take your regular size i've then got this anthropology bag these trousers are from last summer from Zara and then my Fendi sliders and I've just rolled the trousers from Zara down so that you can get the little tie poking out and this is why I really like the gold on these bottoms because I like to wear my tie bikinis like high-waisted above my trousers so it just makes for a really nice little accent it almost feels like jewelry as well as a bikini and I love that <laughs> Iced matcha latte with soy milk. And what are you having? I sent the girl with the boss. <laughs> I also got a little sugary snack thing. It's delicious. Mm. How nice is the sun? Mm. 10 out of 10. Just had a little drink downstairs. How gorgeous is this hotel, you guys? We're going to give you a little tour. It's so nice. I love the vibes. It's like jazz music playing everywhere. So this is the reception area. Like, do you see what I mean about like the tiles and the marble? And then there's this little area that's really cute. And then we come into Green Marble Central. Like, look at this. Gorgeous. And it continues. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the flooring here. It's unreal. Beep. It's 
so bright I actually can't see you. Excuse me if I'm squinting. I've come back to the room and changed because we're gonna go up to the roof, go for a swim, just have a little chill up there. So I'm wearing this crochet dress from Monday Swim and then I've got the more like structured Blue Bella bikini underneath. I'm gonna wear my YSL tribute sandals because these have not had a look in so far and normally I wear these all the time so I've got to give them their moment and it works quite well with this outfit because I'm going to wear the cowboy hat. It looks so wonky on this camera. I just took photos of it on my phone, it was fine. Yeah, it's gonna keep my little head firm free and then I've got my YSL Reeve Gauche tote which I bought this. I don't even know if you can hear me. I bought this so long ago and it's literally like one of my most all bags i will never ever get rid of this this is a great purchase on my part i got it in 2018 and i love it yeah so this is the outfit we're back in the room and i am just getting ready for dinner i'm throwing on some more makeup because it is melting off my face i forgot to use setting spray this morning i've also had my hat on and off on repeat today so my forehead looks a very different colour to the rest of my face. I've already popped my dress on that I'm wearing this evening. This is from Realisation Pra. I threw this on before doing my makeup because sometimes I find I end up messing up my makeup if it has to go over the top of my head. So didn't want to risk it tonight. It was going on first. But we had such a nice afternoon. It's meant to be the best weather whilst we're here today. So we decided to make a point of lounging today because I prefer to do like exploring if it's a little bit cloudy so we're saving that and we're going to go and explore tomorrow so this evening i don't think i'm going to do any blush i've just literally put my bronzer on over the top of my blush and i think it looks really nice it's given it a bit more of a brownie more evening tone to it lip liner is on using the kkw 90s glam lip liner r.i.p if anyone has any dupes for this i know she released her own but i'm refusing to accept that they're the same now that they've been re redone and then i'm just going in with the patrick tar lip cream i think this is and i am going to put a gloss over the top because this stuff is matte whilst that's amazing because it stays it stays and stays and stays it is a little bit drying so i'm going over the top with this dior lip gloss the thing i should have put on this morning it just makes the makeup look perfect. I am going to introduce my hair quickly and then I'll show you my full outfit. Okay, outfit of the evening. Pending. I have rolled the hair. I always find even if it's not like freshly washed, just straightening it, rolling the ends and then putting rollers in just gives it a bit of a refresh. <laughs> Great. Fragrance of the evening is YSL Libra. Mm. Oh, it's so lovely. And then I'm keeping things really simple in terms of jewellery. I am just keeping these little huggies in, which I've been wearing all of this trip so far. And then my Aurelia ring. Sometimes I wear this on the middle finger if it will fit. Sometimes my hand swells up and it doesn't fit. And then I've just got my engagement ring. For shoes, I've gone for my YSL tributes just because they work really well. And I actually can't be bothered to wear my heels that I brought with me. And then my bag is my Colt Gaia orange clutch. Just for a pop of colour, something fun. The last time I wore this dress was in Bali and I just had my Dior saddle bag with me. So I wanted to do something a little bit more fun and summery this time. And it's housing a whole load of nothing. We have a room key, but it looks great with the outfit. Also works as a weapon if you need to fight someone. This is heavy. So this is, trying not to bash into anything, the full fit. I love this dress. I feel like it just sits so nicely. I'm on our way to dinner. You excited? You hungry? Starving. The man is starving. Look at all of these mirrors. It's so cute. This is my outfit. <laughs> Ryan's like, hurry up. I want to eat. I love this walk. It's so nice. It's just filled with art. So nice. Oh, and there's this whole section in here, which is like a little shop. We can go and get things. It's called Grab and Go. You grabbed and got some things last night. Some chocolate. Some chocolate, yeah. And then this is where we have dinner. Oh, can I get the squishy side? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh my God. It's last night I had the breeze stuffed triangoli, the truffle carbonara, it was delicious. The drinks are arriving. Thank you. Oh, amazing. Oh, yum. Thanks. Did we get those last night? Mmm. Mm. They're margaritas. 
and hair are so good. Good morning! This is my outfit of the day for today. From the top we have my Miu Miu baseball cap and then the PLT blue pinstripe set, blue Bella lilac bikini. This I think might be one of my favourites, like I just feel so happy when I wear it. And then I have my pink anthropology bag and then I've just gone for the Chanel Perspex shoes. I think they're really cute with the bag. So they don't do matcha at breakfast here, they do it later on. So I'm insane and I have brought my own things. I also brought this from home. Yeah. You know what you like. I know what I like. Their matcha here is, is very good though. And I also brought this. <laughs> so we're having a conversation about how you behave at the breakfast buffet and I need your opinions on this. Yours truly will go to the breakfast buffet once and once only something spectacular has to happen like someone has to come back with like an unreal something that i have not seen for me to go back for a second time i do it at your mum's house when she does self-serve as well like i'll just pile a plate up and she's like this is this chick is bizarre ryan on the other hand will go to the breakfast buffet like 61 different times and each time he comes back with this perfect meal that makes sense whereas i have like avocado and tiny croissants and I don't know sausage and uh, you know, random stuff random st all of all of this random stuff just on the same plate makes no sense whatsoever sir over here just came back with like the most beautiful plate of granola like bowl of granola <laughs> elegant, you're so elegant it's, it really was I was like wow this is really backwards because I maybe I have a lot of masculine energy I don't know but this tiny croissant by the way stunning so my question is which camp do you fall into? Because I feel like everyone must fall into at least one of these camps. I'm really conscious that I've got a sweat stash if I have, I'm so sorry. Yeah, what do you do? Do you come back with a whole perfect meal that makes sense or do you come back with a tiny croissant and some baked beans? Do you think I'll ever mature? Um, the fact that you refer to yourself as... Crickets. Hmm? Crickets. The fact that you refer to yourself as... What did you say? One and only. You're truly... <laughs> Out of all of the things I've just said, that's what <laughs> You're marrying this. Did you ever think that when I'm sitting here with my baked beans and a tiny croissant? Like this no, is the I woman that's going to raise my children. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> They're going to be feral. They are going to be feral. Uh, apologies to anyone that has to holiday with us when we bring our children out because your children will be lovely, my children will be feral. If they're lovely, I'll be like, your children. If they're feral, you'll be like, that is yours. Truly. Anyway. <laughs> yours truly. <laughs> That's all I really need to know. I would love if we could discuss because... Is it weird that I do this? No, I don't think so. I think it's okay. part of the fun. Off he goes for another course. <laughs> he says he's going to get a juice, but I would put money that man is coming back with some food. It'd be like some fruit, but he's coming back with something. Oh, hello. He's already back. They boot me out. They said I've been, oh. been there too many times. <laughs> They're like, you're not allowed to come in for a 60 yeah. second time. Did you eat them too much? Are they bringing the juice over? No, it's closed. Oh, it's actually closed. Yeah. Late, we're late risers today. Damn. What is that? It's green juice. I was gonna say, that doesn't look like a matcha. So we are having some pool time. Just been to the room to get some sun cream for this man. Hola. Hola, hola, hello. hello. <laughs> Thank you. And your water, sir? Thank you. <laughs> Great service here. Mm. So nice. Do you think you're gonna dip today? I was literally just thinking about that. Yeah. I think I might, maybe. I'm a bit scared because I don't know if these pools are heated, but it looks lovely. Look at him, you guys. Living his best life. <laughs> I can't. Honestly, I love going on holiday with this man. Seeing him live his best life in the water, it's just... <laughs> he looks so happy. Look at him, that art I've been caught. <laughs> He's so happy. Tell me you're getting married this year without telling me you're getting married this year. 
trying to avoid the tan lines is so hard. Good evening. I haven't checked in with you for a while. We actually went and had a really nice little lunch in Old Town and went and got paella, which was really nice paella. I don't know. My great grandmother was literally taken from down the coast and brought to England and I still don't know how to say paella. 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 It was delicious. It was really cute. We had such a nice lunch. And then I just came back and rotted by the pool some more. It was my perfect day. There's nothing I love more than just like rotting in the sun. But now I am ready for dinner. I actually wore this dress the first night, but I actually didn't really pack enough evening outfits. I thought I'd just be going more casual tonight, but I decided that I wanted to dress up a little bit. So I'm styling the dress differently to how I styled it on the first night. I'm going to wear the Chanel sandals i'm going kind of like cute and girly with this look i went like orangey and like a bit more rustic the first night pink bag of course and my fragrance of the evening is going to be killian love don't be shy because it's like the cutest pinkest girliest fragrance ever and then for earrings i have some options so first we have the giant hearts which i think are a high contender for me this evening but we also have these beautiful vintage earrings from aurelia but i think that's for a different a different night, a different vibe, theme, insert your chosen word of what you know I'm trying to say here because I know everyone hates the word vibe, but I also have these. These I think also fit the assignment. What do we think? They're both so different. I'm going to ask Ryan. Can I ask you a question please sir? Yeah. I know you're busy putting your socks on, but it's very important. So do you think the giant hearts or the trio of hearts? Uh, giant hearts. Giant hearts it is. Thank you. Let's go. Mm. Yeah. What, are you in the ice cream? Yeah, you can be in the ice cream. Fair enough. <laughs> it's been giving White Lotus this evening. There's this really cute girl and she's singing in the bar whilst we're eating. But she actually sounds like the girl from White Lotus. Brian's assured me because I don't have contacts in that she doesn't look like her, but I was convinced. No, similarities. It was but... Mia. We're in White Lotus. Mm. Talking about Sky. No spoilers. What flavours you got? So I've got strawberry sorbet and chocolate sorbet. And then there's some pistachio stuff in the middle. Delicious. Let's have a look. You had a cone that looked like a rose and now it's a nubbin. Doesn't look like a rose anymore. Beautiful. <laughs> anyway, let's go to bed. I'm tired. Okay. And drunk. Good morning. <laughs> it's our last morning. Very sad. I'm gonna get a matcha zoom. Is this you from now on? You're gonna travel with your matcha pack. Also, the almond milk is really sweet, so it's basically a matcha milkshake. Just finished packing, and now it is time to change into my sweats. I'm so sad. I love these trousers. I didn't get to show you these this morning, but I wore the PLT stripy trousers. They're so cute. Love them with my little chilling flats. And then I just had a bikini on, but I've just quickly thrown on the skims top because it goes with my sweats. And I can't be bothered to change out of the bikini because honestly, it's giving me some support that I need right now. So I'm just gonna keep this on. And then I'm just gonna change into my Adenola gray tracky bottoms and like navy blue top. <laughs> 